The focus of this lecture is on projecting three-dimensional objects to two-dimensional orthographic views using third angle projection. As mentioned in previous lectures, third angle projection is what the United States and Canada use to create and lay out views on their engineering drawings. In this lecture, I will define and explain the meaning of the third angle projection symbol. Discuss how third angle views are created and provide an explanation of where standard third angle orthographic views are placed with respect to the front orthographic view. Let's begin. This is the symbol placed on engineering drawings to denote the orthographic views of the drawing were created using third angle projection. To help you understand this symbol, I have created a truncated cone in the Siemens NX CAD system. Next, I place the cone inside a glass cube or box. The faces of the glass cube are the standard six orthographic planes, front, right, top, left, back, and bottom. This is the front plane onto which I have projected, brought forward the circular edges of the cone. This is the right side plane onto which I have projected or brought forward the silhouette and planar faces or edges of the cone. This shows a partial rotation of the right side plane, and this shows the right side view of the cone fully rotated into the plane of the front view. Thus, the meaning or definition of third angle projection symbol. To further illustrate the third angle view projection, I have created another simple doorstop and placed it inside a glass cube. We chose the viewing direction that shows the most detail of the object, represented here by the large blue arrow. We identify or highlight all visible surfaces. These surfaces are brought or projected forward, leaving their imprint on the front wall of the glass cube. And we label this our front orthographic view. Positioning ourselves so that we are normal to the right side of the glass cube, again, we highlight the surfaces that are visible and project them forward onto the right wall of the glass cube. We label this view the right side orthographic view. Next, we position ourselves so that we are normal to the top of the glass cube. This is followed by highlighting the visible surfaces, which are projected upward to leave their imprint on the top wall of the glass cube. We label this view the top orthographic view. The next important element in understanding third angle projection is how to open or unfold the glass cube with respect to the front view. Notice each edge of the front view defines an, a hinge line. Here we see the top and right side walls being rotated forward to the plane of the front view. Had we projected the left, back, and bottom views and unfolded them to the front plane, they would have these positions and alignments with respect to the front orthographic view. The ASME third angle projection standard specifies these six views, their position and alignment with respect to a given or chosen front view. Watch the animation once again. In the United States and Canada, 
when creating an engineering drawing, the top view is always above the front view, and the right side view is always to the right of the front view. This is because we use the ASME third angle drawing standard. You will never need all of these drawing views for such a simple doorstop. However, complex real world models may need all six ASME standard views and even other detailed section and or auxiliary views. Topics for a later lecture or lectures. Having finished this video, you should now be able to 1. Recognize and explain the meaning of the third angle projection symbol. 2. Describe how third angle views are created. And 3. Describe how third angle 2D drawing views are located and positioned with respect to the front drawing view.